aminos in the morning. Um, it's really sweet, so I usually do about half a scoop in 32 ounces, but still get the benefits. With my Kokolo. Okay, let me see Hubby off. He's on his way out the door, and I will be right back. Good Sunday morning, so um, my husband just left for work, and Remy is still sleeping. I just got up to pump around 5 this morning and figured I'm up. So I'm gonna get my cardio in right now. I don't think she's gonna sleep long enough now to finish a whole workout, but I could be wrong. So I'm just gonna get my cardio in. I've got about um, just a 20 minute jog here. So I'm just gonna get that done first and then she gets up, hang out with her and I do have a lift today, but I'll probably just do that a little bit later. I don't ever split up my workouts like this, but on the weekend because I did sleep a little bit longer um, and got started a little bit later um, and I have time and I'm up. I would have normally gone back to bed, but my husband had work today, so I think I'm just gonna get my quick jog in. I got the boys in here, so you get that done. Done. Just did 20 minutes. Did a 10 minute warm up, um, and she started crying, but she soothed herself, so I'm gonna go get her. But I am wearing the Strip Fit band, and I really like it. So it's two pieces. I'm wearing two bands. I'm wearing this first one as a core support, so it kind of wraps this way. Um, I really like it. You could use it for running too. Um, it was recommended by Drip Fit for me postpartum just to help support my core, which was obviously weakened. And I could tell it was weakened because carrying around a baby, bending over a crib, my lower back started to hurt. But it also makes this tighter. And this is the traditional neoprene band. So this is the one. Um, whew, it like, makes all the sweat. Um, and so... People ask me like, does it work, does it work? Well, you, it's it's gonna make you lose water weight for sure. And I was at a bridal shower yesterday. I didn't drink, um, but I ate a lot of like high sodium foods, smoked salmon, prosciutto. Um, so this definitely will help you sweat out and lose water or weight, as in water weight. This is the cream I put on. It's the Drip Fit Cream, um, and I put this on, and then I put on the band, the neoprene band. It just looks like that. Um, this is the lemon flavor. It's, it smells really good. Um, so I put that on, and then I put the band on. Um, and the cream itself is really good for your circulation, uh, skin elasticity, um, makes your skin firmer. So the whole point of Drip Fit is to naturally detox your body through sweat. So it does make you sweat. It is thermogenic. Obviously you have something pressed up against your core. Um, so in that sense, yes, I do believe it works. I like using it. Um, it. Gives me a good sweat. It's like, I think I did an Instagram story this morning. It's like 51 degrees. I am in my garage, but, and I am a sweater, but even some of the girls I work with are like, yeah, it makes me sweat. Uh, so somebody is asking me, do you have to be a sweater for it to work? No, but you will sweat, promise. So I'll leave my code below. Uh, she's awake. So I'm going to go up and get my sweet pea. Boys. Who's in here making all this noise? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you see the camera? Good morning. Somehow I know Good morning. Be Did you drop your beat? Hello. Sleeves Hi. You don't know what to do, do you? Hello. 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 Isn't that be cool? You like to see yourself, huh? You do? You do? What is it? You can't touch it. Alright, let's see. We got stings in there. Alright, let's see. 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 Let's see.
You yeah. slept from a little after eight to seven today. And I'm wearing my worn out jeans. What could go wrong? Sipping on a beer, sing along to our favorite songs. All I want is you. You make my world spin round and round. Sometimes I don't know what to do, cause my heart starts racing when I'm with you. So I just made my breakfast. I've got um, some overnight oats here, um, and I use this protein. This is the Protea protein oats. <laughs> so I make the oats the same way I would normally make the oats in the microwave, and then I hurry up quick and I use frozen strawberries in here, and I let them melt, and then I put some almond butter, let it melt, chia seeds, and then I mix in this V Pro, with a little bit of unsweetened almond milk, and then I've got my coffee here. Um, and there's our little sweepy. Hi. She seems a little bit better this morning, huh? Yeah. I'm not gonna shower or put any makeup on because I'm gonna get a lift in here when she goes down for a nap in a little bit, but I'm gonna eat first. Ooh. So, excuse my appearance and all the baby things behind me, but this is life. Um, so, we started her on baby food in the last month-ish. Um, and so every day, every other day, um, I've been kind of letting her explore with baby food. Um, just like puree stuff. Um, and the pediatrician said it's not supposed to be like to take the place of breast milk. So her primary source of nutrition is breast milk. Food right now is exploratory. So I've just been buying like little jars of like pureed bananas or pureed strawberries, or strawberries. Yeah, that too. Sweet potatoes she likes. Um, I did buy some baby oatmeal. Well, everything was going fine. I think like the sweet potatoes were working and she usually is an everyday pooper multiple times a day. Well, I started to notice when I introduced the food that her poop became less frequent. And just in the last week, it's become to the point where like she's straining to have to go to the bathroom. So, um, I don't know exactly what it is or if it's just the food in general or if it's a certain type of food. Like a couple days ago, she had apples and cherry. Maybe that was something, but like it seemed sweet potatoes seemed fine. Green beans seemed fine. My sister said that the oatmeal had affected her daughter. So, I don't know, but yesterday morning at like 5.15 she woke up screaming and Elliot was home and he went in there and followed him in and I was like is everything okay and he's like I'm just gonna feed her I go that's not a hungry scream and we checked and she had like the tiniest little poop and it was hard so it's obvious it's affecting her and then last night it's just like so heartbreaking to watch cuz she'll and then she'll cry so um, we did go get her, and it's upstairs, because I used it last night, but I'll show you guys. Um, constipation ease. So we did do that last night, and she had some more poop in her diaper this morning, but not, not the right consistency still. So she did get that out, and then I did have Elliot pick up a couple of just like baby food. Um, this is just, I think he just got the Gerber. It was at Walgreens. But yeah, this is just pume puree, water and dried prunes. So I'm going to give her some of this. And then I told him, I said, if you can't find this, just get prune juice and I'll use a dropper and water it down. So he actually did go get prune juice. Um, and this is just prunes again. So I'm gonna give her a little bit of this um, today as her baby food exploratory food um, and see if that helps her. Cause it's just, it's so painful. It's so sad to watch and you wanna help her. Um, and then Elliot told me to slow down on the baby food and maybe do it every other day. Um, I really think it was apples and cherries that affected her though. So I'm just gonna, and we'll try bananas again, or sweet potatoes. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then hang out with Sweet Pea. We put away the clothes, we emptied the dishwasher. I need to put away mine and Elliot's clothes. Maybe go with a, on a walk with grandma later. And I'm gonna get in the lift. That's what's on the Sunday agenda. So. Actually, yesterday I came home at, the baby shower was two hours away, 
and I had to drive. Um, I went up there, stayed for about three hours, and then I had some errands to run. So I think I left the house at 9.45 yesterday, got home at 5. And when I got home, she was already done for a nap, and Elliot had cleaned and mopped and swept. And I was like, holy cow, I should leave you guys alone more often. And you hike chair today. Yes, you did. Distracted by the camera. How much prunes I'm supposed to give her because I don't want you to have diarrhea. But <laughs> you're so cute. Keep it in there. By the way, these silicone bibs are amazing. I'll try to find some and link them, but they're so much better because you just rinse them. Um, I use the baby dish soap I have on them, and boom, done. I think they can go in the dishwasher, but yeah, they're so nice. And they have the little pocket here when she starts eating things. So, I like action. That I just pulled out, we got it for her baby shower but she hadn't quite fit in it yet. I mean, I hadn't used it, we hadn't done baby food yet, so I just pulled it out this morning. I'm gonna go attach it to a chair, but right now it's just on the counter, but yeah, so just use it for the first time this morning. Oh, there it is, Deluxe Space Saver Hot Chair. Hmm. What do you think? Do you like it? We're getting tired. So I just put her down for her nap. Um, she was getting pretty tired. I am going to get a workout in here and I'm actually going to do a one of Brett Contreras' um, booty workouts. So actually I purchased his Grow Your Glutes, Not Your Legs program um, just because I was kind of looking through some of the samples of it and I thought, okay, this could be a good program to do solely at home. Now there are some machines in his program that I don't have at home. So I modify, but a lot of it's banded. A lot of it is, um, well, all of it is glute focused, opening up your hips. Um, and I do add some of my own exercises in there as well that I have found that activate my hips, um, just because of the way, you know, my body mechanics and things like that. Um, like off the top of my head, like I know that frog pumps don't activate my glutes. Either I'm doing them wrong or I just don't have the anatomy to get them. So I always modify those. Um, so I'm going to do one of his workouts and I'll film that. Um, I don't know if I'll follow everything on this workout, but I'm going to film what I do today regardless for you guys. So let's get started. Hi guys and welcome back to another commentary. So to start out my leg day here, I always do this circuit or a variation of, I usually choose about two to three exercises, body weight here, just to kind of warm up the glutes and the abductors. Uh, so for this one, I think you've seen this warm up before, but I'm doing the first exercise as a uh, fire hydrants here so I do 20 per leg and that is with a bent knee and I'm really focusing on the glute medius uh, the side glute if you will doing the work then I go right into one set of the straight leg fire hydrants um, I'm trying to keep my leg as straight as possible and out to my side at 90 degrees as I possibly can these get significantly harder but again that mind to muscle in the glute medius hip um, trying to keep that leg perpendicular to your body there and then the final exercise is these new knee to chest glute bridges. I really, really like these. This video is sped up a little bit, but really like these. The key is to position the working leg. So in this one, the left leg in the center of your body and push through that heel to really activate the glute maximus, the meaty part of your butt there. The ADO bands, um, excuse the paint on the floor, but um, this is what I'm using for my cable kickback. So I've got the ADO ankle cuffs here 
and then I just double wrap it here. I think this is the 25 to 30 pound one um, for cable kickbacks here. These can definitely be used anyway, just like cables. Um, and then I've got, like I said, here. So that's how I set up, and I just kind of leave them if I need to change the weight, but I'm usually up to green by now. So these are the cable kickbacks. Um, I'm using a band, same thing. You can use these bands, same as you would with a cable. And I'm really focusing on uh, keeping my pelvis kind of in line. So when I bring that knee forward, I'm not arching my back back. Otherwise, you're really gonna feel this in your lower back. This is controlled through the glute. Uh, here's it sped up a little bit more. Um, but you'll really feel this if you're doing it correctly in that glute maximus part. going right into these uh, extra range of motion abductions so I'm doing these off of a bench as you can see the working leg my knee is almost um, rotated inwards excuse me my ankle is rotated inwards um, and I'm really focusing again on those abductors doing the work these I feel a lot um, so that mind to muscle here is absolutely crucial Next exercise is a single leg hip thrust. Now, many people do these incorrectly. So when you're doing a traditional hip thrust and you have both feet on the ground, you're focused on keeping your uh, back in line and your chest forward, not up like this. But when you do a hip thrust, you're kind of hinging. Um, so how I'm doing this and using my mid back there as a lever is actually correct for a single leg hip thrust. Uh, then I'm going to go right into these American deadlifts. I absolutely love these for the glutes. I'm really, really liking these. So the trick here is to lock your lats in place um, and only bring that bar down just below your knees there. The glutes are the only thing doing the work here. No lower back, no hamstring. So I'm really focusing on the squeeze up at the top and pushing through the heels. Almost like I'm kind of spreading the ground a little bit. Um, but hear the emphasis in my voice, but really squeezing the glutes up at the top there. And she's awake. I'm almost done with my workout, but this is when I go to plan B, plan two, and bring out a bouncer. So that's what we're going to do so I can finish this workout. These are quickly becoming a new favorite, these banded kneeling squats. Now I did add a Smith machine during this day. I was doing these with no weight, so you can absolutely do that. Just make sure once you get that band around your hips there that you have something to brace yourself with, whether it be a wall or like I use the side of the Smith machine. But this day I did add some weights on top. Uh, I'll show you in the next clip exactly how I set this up. But it's basically a kneeling hip thrust or a kneeling glute bridge. So I'm really externally rotating those hips out at the top and squeezing my glutes. I'm Jerry rigging this. So I have one band here that I kind of double loop to make it smaller. Um, you can obviously make it as you know long as you want, but I like double looped it around here and then I have another one here. So I'm using kind of both of the resistance because this one is going to pull. This one, um, I tried it the other way around last week where I had the heavier one on this one and I felt like this one gave too much back here. So I switched it and I do like this way better. I don't know how much weight this is, but um, Anyways, I jerry-rigged it, and I step in here, and then I kneel with the Smith machine. And you could totally do this without the Smith machine. So you could totally just do the banded one, and then just make sure you have something to hold on to. And the final exercise this day was these cable cuff external rotations. So this was new to me. This is something that I learned from Brett. So I'm actually using my glute medius again to drive my leg out. You really don't want to use your oblique, so I don't even know if I put some weight on the stack this day. Um, or if I did, it was very, very light, maybe two and a half pound plate. But I'm really focusing on bringing that leg out with my glute. I can feel these 
so well if you're doing these correctly. Uh, I'll show you in the next clip how I set up, but what I've noticed is that I like when the cuff is attached below my knee versus around my thigh. I feel this a lot more um, just based on that attachment there. Um, so that'll conclude our workout and I will see you guys in the next clip. For this next one, I'm using the ADO like ankle bands that I used earlier, but to make it a little bit longer, I'm looping one through the other, so I'll show you how I do this. So I loop one through the other, and then instead of collapsing it on itself, I'm putting it off to the side a little bit, and you'll see why. So kind of like that, so there's still a little bit of Velcro here, but now it's an extra long one. So now, when I go ahead and put it on my shin here, so it's like extra and I'll pull it tight. Well now, since there's that extra open right here, I can now hook this guy on there, okay? So then the cable is gonna go through, oh my gosh, it's gonna go through here. Okay. So nice outside, I didn't even mind picking up dog poop. But I didn't film it because I just don't need to film everything. But Sundays are kind of, well, Sundays are starting to become house I'm trying really hard not to open my computer at all um, and just focus on family more. I wanted to talk about this product that I've been taking from Protea. It's the Baseline product. Um, this has been amazing. Now, I am breastfeeding and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's safe for breastfeeding. First and foremost, I will say that I'm taking this and I am breastfeeding. Do with it what you want, but it is not ethical to test stuff on um, breastfeeding women or pregnant women. So there is no research on it. That doesn't mean it's bad. doesn't mean it's good. Um, do your due diligence. But that said, I actually just wrote a blog on the Pratia website all about DIM. Um, and that's one of the ingredients in this. But basically what DIM, DIM does, um, it stands for... I'll put it on the screen because I don't think I can pronounce it. Uh, what DIM does is it actually helps your body metabolize excess estrogens. Now, the question that I get from this is, well, what if I already have low estrogen? If I take that, is it going to throw me hormone imbalance? No. So this isn't something that's refuted. It's been studied. There are products out there, plastics, industrial solvents, um, makeup, household cleaners, that actually have what are called xenoestrogens. Xenoestrogens, which are substances in these products that mimic estrogen in the body. So sometimes like just putting on makeup or cleaning your house with certain cleaners or uh, pesticides, you know, out on your lawn, you are actually putting excess bad estrogens into your body. Uh, so what happens is, is that you end up having a hormonal imbalance. It starts to affect your endocrine system. It starts to affect the way your hormones talk to each other. It can even go so far as to start to affect your thyroid, which controls everything in your body. Uh, so what DIM does is it actually attacks against this bad estrogen and helps you out, like keep your body in balance. Now, some of what is wrong with having high estrogen? Well, first of all, you'll get a bunch of uh, symptoms, you know, hair loss, weight gain, inability to lo uh, lose weight, um, hot flashes, heavy menstrual cycles, irregular menstrual cycles, fatigue, uh, fibroids. <laughs> um, you're also at a higher risk for cancers such as breast cancer and ovarian cancer, even stroke and blood clots. So having excess estrogen in the body is not good. Also, DIM also helps to combat against um, armotase enzyme, which is basically an enzyme that converts your testosterone into estrogen. So men and women both need testosterone. So when your testosterone is low and it's this enzyme is eating away at your testosterone and increasing your estrogen levels, then you end up having the same issues of, like I just described, estrogen dominance and things like that. So this is actually a great supplement. I recommend it for almost everybody um, to take. I think it's a great product to have in your arsenal. The only people I probably wouldn't recommend it against is anybody that's on some sort of um, hormonal therapy for, you know, menopause or things like that. If they're already trying to be on some uh, hormone replacement therapies, 
I would talk to your doctor before taking this just because you're already trying to balance yourself with some artificial hormones. I don't think there would be a problem with this, but I would just consult your doctor. I'd consult your doctor anyways, but, um, cause I'm not one, but this product has been amazing to me. Um, I've recommended it to clients. Um, even some of the benefits that some of my clients are seeing is that it's helping regulate hunger. Um, cause it's helping regulate your hormones. They're able to drop weight. They don't feel as bloated, especially around the midsection. Um, another, symptom of estrogen dominance is heavier weight around uh, or fat distribution around the midsection hips and thighs so this product literally has been amazing especially for you know people that are trying to diet down trying to lose weight um, and then honestly it has maca in it too to help increase your sex drive um, you know vitamin B vitamin B9 vitamin B12 I really think that this product has done so many amazing things for my body. That being said, my estrogen and progesterone are still very suppressed right now because prolactin is high because I am breastfeeding. But I'm excited to continue to take this. This is my second bottle of this. So I've been on this for almost two months, about six weeks. Highly recommend this product. But, oh, I hear Remy. I'm gonna go get her now. Okay, done with our walk and I am at 17,500 steps today. I am tired and I did a leg day this morning. So I've got Remy kind of chilling here. <laughs> and I am going to prep up um, tomorrow. I am working for my mom's house, so I take Remy over there. So I'm going to um, prep up some food to take there tomorrow because I take all my meals, obviously, prep it all out. Um, I am washing some strawberries right now. Got to cut up that cucumber that's just kind of chilling there. God, I'm a mess. Um, and I do wash my veggies. I wash them in this wash. It's just from Sprouts. So I've got the strawberries just kind of chilling in some of that. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to prep up um, some salad, zucchini, spinach, strawberries, um, non-dairy cheese, pecans, cucumber and then I do have some venison in there I know that sounds really weird on a salad but I do have some venison already prepped so I'll probably just portion that um for tomorrow and then probably eat the same thing tonight because it's already out so I'll prep that up as well I could be who you want because I know that I need to be happy too and then things turn to dust when I bluff just to mess up and tell the truth. All I hear is an echo. Turn the words I've got my cucumber and strawberries in this container. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use this bowl since I only have yeah, some zucchini. I just eat it raw. I'm gonna put some spinach in there. I separate the two of them out, so I put the strawberries and the cucumber in a separate dish. Um, and then I put like the spinach and zucchini and I'll put the cheese on here um, in a separate bowl just because I don't want to leave this overnight. It tends to make the lettuce soggy, uh, spinach soggy. Super easy too because I already pre-portioned out all of my pecans. So this is the ounce and a half of pecans. Um, so I'll just throw that in here and take that with me. This is the cheese I've been using. I don't love it. Um, I really like this So Delicious brand. This is the Follow Your Heart cheddar brand. It's not horrible. Um, but they were out of the So Delicious, and I really hope that's not like for everything. So I'll throw some of this one here, and then I already have some pre-made um, venison that I already cooked up. So I'm just gonna throw that in a separate container and measure that. And this is my all-time favorite dressing. I recommend this to clients. I put it on meal plans. It's amazing. It's zero grams of fat for two tables. <laughs> they can get away with that. But six grams of carbs, 30 calories, basically water, balsamic vinegar are the first two, um, and less than 2% of olive oil. So really like this brand. Love Bolt House Farms. Highly recommend. So then I just throw should measure it, but I don't. I'm just gonna put it into this cup. It's got that much. That's two tablespoons. And there's my salad. So we're all ready to go. The salad's already all cooked up here. 
So a couple other items I'm gonna bring. I wanna bring one of these. I like these or I like the Food for Life brand, but recently I found that these are way cheaper. These are Trader Joe's brand for the exact same macros and they're like $2.99 versus like $5.99. So take one of these because I do, I make egg whites at my mom's. Um, if I'm home, I make egg whites. Um, so I'm gonna do this with some egg whites um, and maybe a whole egg if she has these farmer's market ones. They're so good. And then I usually do some cream cheese on there. This is an off-brand uh, that I like as well. This one's made with butter beans, um, but I really do like the Kite Hill one. This was just cheaper and it was at Fry's and they didn't have Kite Hill at Fry's. They only have it at Sprouts, so depending upon where I go. So I usually do, I'll measure some of this into here. Um, that's it, one meal. And then I always have my prepped sweet potatoes, so I'm gonna measure some of those out. Love my prepped sweet potatoes. And then lastly, I'm going to measure out my oats in the morning because I make my oats in the morning and pack it in my lunch box to go. Um, so I'm just gonna measure out my oats and my protein and my chia seeds all mixed in there. And then when I make my oats in the morning, I throw everything in, put it in a to-go container, throw Remy in the car, put my lunch box in, and I'm done. And I take all of my supplements with me and so I'll put like some of the baseline in there I absolutely need the baseline and then I always take this Stressify and I'll just use this old ibuprofen container that I had postpartum. So I'll put in, good thing I just reordered, three, that's how many you take a day, two in the morning, one in the afternoon, and then I'll put these in here because I take those during the day and then I always take some sunflower lecithin. I'll take my second one at lunch so I'll put that in here and then I do take my morning steps too. Before I go, so I got that ready to go. This is my lunch box that I use. I use a Fit Marks bag. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. Absolutely love it. It's like one pouch here. There is a divider here if you wanted to divide your stuff, but everything's in here. I've got the side pouch, pill container, um, something a little down here. This is gonna hold my, I have some extra breast pump bags because I do take my pump with me. Um, it is nice, good size. These are notes that I used to write Elliot. For lunch he would take this fun for lunch but i've been taking it basically remy has been constipated i said that earlier and every time she would poop she would scream and cry so then i rocked her and hold, held her um, i gave her some more constipation ease you guys saw the prunes this morning so it's just kind of been a rough day and she's only been napping like 45 minutes at a time so yeah, I just kind of hung out with her, and every time she napped, I'd kind of clean up the house and putz around. But, yeah, that was kind of my day today. It's, you know, poor thing. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. I, I'm going to take a nice warm bath and try to help her out. Um, yep. So, anyways, it's a day in the life. Not always glamorous. So, I will see you guys all in my next one. Thanks for watching.